Hey, good day, Prabhakar. How are you? Yeah, I am good, sir. Whatever yeah, whatever. I am good. Thank you. Hey, Prabhakar, thanks for joining us today. And uh, Prabhakar, we would like to hear from you your experience studying at Skilllink, and uh, we would like to hear about uh, how it was useful for you. So um, let's have this interaction in a quite casual way. You can, you are free to uh, express your thoughts, okay. and uh, please feel free to do so. Okay. Um, Prabhakar, could you tell us a little bit about the course you have studied at Skilllink, and why did you choose that course? Sir, actually, I was a uh, research scholar. Okay. I was in working in the uh, Amavua Engineering College near Bangalore as a national professor. Okay. Uh, and I need to go to research in a composite material where I need to study experiment results. Meanwhile, I need to carry out the results in ANSI studies software. Yeah. I thought to out of why can't you go for in uh, IT field just comparing my results with uh, this uh, programming language. So mm-hmm. I thought to learn this Python. Before learning, before searching into your uh, website, I encountered with some. Uh, Uh, other uh, website where the same courses has been teaching but one okay. of my one of my friend is working in company called uh, kana metal bangalore yeah he suggested me that there is an uh, uh, website you just go through that website uh, it's an a uh, very good good, good uh, website we can they can teach you the exact what you required so okay. after that i just went through with your uh, syllabus uh, python for mechanical engineers okay then according to that syllabus i came to know that oh exactly uh, these are the uh, path or these are the content i required so that i just uh, selected the python in your uh, skill right okay so you are pretty much clear about uh, what you wanted and you did yeah. some research yeah. arrived at platform you thank you for that so um, with a propagator so were you uh, a beginner so what help did you get from the technical support team and uh, how did it help you I basically I don't know anything about the python because it's a programming language mm. although uh, I am from diploma I never studied any programming language like c or c++ all those thing I did mm. before but mm. it's a very uh, beginning to me a uh, beginning at the time of uh, starting programming I just faced some many troubles and uh, some of, some of my mentors like uh, Varun and some other uh, Arun yeah Arun mm. some they helped me a lot at the starting beginning of the part as though yeah. i am an assistant professor i can uh, uh, observe uh, is what is telling at at a faster rate so that i learn after uh, one or two sessions one or two uh, chapters or one or two modules okay uh, there is a yeah. great support from our mentor mm. whenever i'll go to call him at the daytime or at uh, zoom meeting is always help me out yeah ari okay. ari is my one uh, ari yeah ari his name is ari just yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the propaganda. So I see you have added uh, the Python to your skill set. So uh, could you just let me give me a little bit about a background? So what was your undergraduation, and uh, uh, at which point you realized you needed this skill set? See, my undergraduation is B B mechanical engineer. Later I just went through with M Tech machine okay. design. I done with M Tech machine design. Right. And after M Tech, after my post graduation, I started working with research that is PhD. Yeah. As soon as I written my PhD exam, as I been qualified, I yeah. start to go for experimental. Before okay. going to experimental, it's an uh, too expensive. As we know that experimental is mm-hmm. nothing but we need to set up the experimental uh, instruments. Then we need to manufacture. We need to test everything. It's going to be ex- uh, more expensive as of uh, my thinking. Mm-hmm. Then I go to uh, analyze what are the results required by mm-hmm. using the software called Ansys 14.5. Mm-hmm. I thought that is not enough to uh, only one part. I just mm-hmm. go for raw. We can't go for raw programming. There we can study, or there we can compare, or yeah. there we can analyze what results we got. Mm-hmm. Then I just switch on to our raw Python. Right. So it's a bold move not having any familiarity with the programming, and you have uh, uh, decided to go with it. So good on you. Thanks, Prabhakar. Um, so could you take us through the uh, challenges and project experience in the course? So yeah, yeah. yeah. One of the program is <laughs> troubled me very lot. Okay. To the create an animation, uh, animation that is a uh, uh, robotic car. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, I struggled in the same programming nearly in uh, nearly five days. To okay. On that one, although <laughs> our Ari is mentored, given suggestions, I tried out what he told. It has been solved. Completely yeah. what he told. The program is solved. But I tried <laughs> to uh, go with other way. Can uh, just not uh, mm-hmm. going only one way. What with that thought. Yeah. Can I go for other way in the same programming? Just I tried and I struggled more. 
uh, later mm. i came to uh, uh, realize that the program is not going to be set by any one person it can be a program mm. can be written in any other manner but yeah. at, at the output we required a result so yeah. i chose the result uh, but mm. that only one programming one module i struggled more yeah, yeah. okay yeah so thanks for that uh, sharing that propaganda because we also realize that there is not not just one way of solving a problem yeah, yeah. and sometimes uh, in uh, trying to solve that for 5 days you do learn uh, in that yeah, process out of the 5 yeah. days i struggle and uh, that 5 days given more information rather yeah. than what it is yeah that's so all. sometimes uh, that's how our technical support works as well instead of just handing out just a fish uh, you go through the process and there is a lot of things that happens in the process so we will we do believe uh there is a learning in that process so yeah thanks for sharing that experience uh, prabhakar so um so with regards to the course you have completed so how helpful was it uh in your research so you went on to do your phd right yeah. uh, so could you tell us that experience about how it was useful in your research actually i was doing my phd regarding this composite materials i need to come across with the vibration analysis in the vibration analysis i need to go for number of uh, outputs Uh, mm. it may be nearer to 2000 2500 outputs in oil going to get mm. uh, by using this program i sort out that by using data analysis program mm. i sort out that which is going to be peak which is going to be in uh, minimum condition which is going to be in uh, yield like that i just sorted mm. and i got the result mm. really mm-hmm. i got the result uh, mm. and uh, recently one month back i published the same uh, output i mean same results and uh, i published the paper also in the name of uh, myself itself wow congratulations propaganda yeah i published the paper in the conference yeah. called in the thailand yeah the international conference yeah so i was very happy with this and uh, my experimental video yeah yeah it's it's really great to uh, see a student who is researching on what skills he needs to do identifying and upskilling and then to see that opening up a lot of opportunities for you is quite heartwarming so yeah thanks for sharing that prabhaka and um, so what do you think of all this uh, learning and skilling what do you think is the biggest to take away for you the one main thing that stands out uh, from your experience at skilling uh, so one once i completed my uh, course i suggested yeah. to my one of the senior person sir that why can't you include this the same course to our students because mm-hmm. mechanical engineering only not only the parts what are the machineries mm-hmm. why can't you include the same machinery and uh, why can't you interlink the machineries to the it field that is programming mm-hmm. i suggested after uh, my suggestion they given opportunity to me after mm-hmm. one year so mm-hmm. why can't you build a uh, course i also yeah. build a course of module of five modules and yeah. i suggested and the same course has been approved and the yeah. same course has been teaching from past one year in our town wow that's that's really nice to hear uh, prabhakar i mean uh, it has been true to the students and yeah. also as i told it has been helped me in my research also yeah wow so yeah it, i it's really uh, great to hear things from our alumni uh, to see it's like it's a once individual course and you saw the value and uh, not only you benefited you yeah, saw how course. it can be useful for others so thank you for that and uh, we appreciate doing that um so um prabhakar do you have any suggestions for current mechanical engineering students or any other students currently studying at skilling so what was your approach what did you what do you think worked for you can you tell that uh, sir i can i can give a suggestion to the students who are in the skilling that okay uh, because i am an assistant professor uh, what are the uh, words i'm going to telling you that the same words i've been told to our students in the class itself Okay. So you don't stick on to the one to the the lecturer mm. and try to uh, solve the same problem in a different way mm. so that you can enhance your own uh, extra knowledge regarding that particular point that was mm. the only suggestion i can give you because uh, if you go the programming and doing the programming what the lecturer or what are the mentor you teach it you mm. you just go to that one you'll going to get only that part yeah so they solve the same problem in a different manner one or the other manner Mm. by using the same python code a uh, same programming language instead of mm. going one line uh, uh, writing code you can go for add change the code and get the mm. output there within right. a less number of uh, lines mm. uh, you can achieve more uh, knowledge and yeah. you can solve the much difficult problems in future right yeah, yeah. thank you prabhakar although it was been a very short interaction with you it is quite uh, encouraging and i should say it is inspirational as well um so it takes a lot of courage and uh, initiative to take that first step in learning and to see uh, such a, a first move opening up opportunities for you and others it's really great to see 
So yeah, thanks for joining us, Prabhakar, and uh, have a good day. Thank you very much.